Afternoon YouTube, Old School Farmer here. I know that this is a second video continuing yesterday's. Uh, I realize that I'm posting twice. Not stupid. Oh. Not stupid, I know. Um, I'm just doing this because, to be frank, I just wanted to show you guys. So, making sure there's no uh, information in here that you guys need to not see. I think we're good. Um... Basically what's happened is transmission fluid has gotten into here. It's absolutely destroyed the vacuum system. I mean, this doesn't even work anymore. Um, this is literally what I've had to do to uh, make it so that the defrost doesn't blow air out anymore because it's dirtying up the inside of my windshield here. And uh, basically what I've done is I've just uh, made it so that it, you can move all the doors behind the dash here by hand. Um, this one is an exception. I don't like that, that this is here. Um, I will fix it and make this a better system later, but uh, it is what it is. So, yeah. So, um, basically I'm just reassembling the dash here. Uh, this, you know, this is a short little update. I'm just um, reassembling the bottom of the dash here. All these lines are everywhere and, you know, it just needs to be uh, put back together. But... As far as, you guys can look at me here, as far as this goes, um, this has been an absolute pain. Don't put this off. Um, this blazer has a transfer case, you know, so it's a four-wheel drive. And the system has leaked transmission fluid into the vacuum lines. And why GM did not make this so that it's separate and not, you know, combined... I have no idea, but it's a very, very stupid design. Um, basically, the transfer case uses a vacuum system to engage the front pumpkin, which this is now what I use. And uh, this is the line that goes to the engine. This is to the vacuum. This is what stores vacuum for later use. And this is what goes to the transfer case. Yep. This is... Uh, this has got transmission fluid everywhere, and it's done it yet again. Uh, this hose is like, you can see it's seeping. It's no good anymore, and it's just absolutely worthless. I'm not going to put it back together the way the factory had it, because if I do that, it's just going to do it again, and I'll be on the bandwagon to be paying another who knows how much it was. I forget now. But um, basically, I just got a vacuum line running up to here down and into the vacuum line that controls the front diaphragm so and this is what the uh, hose goes to wow uh, I think that this hose might have ripped itself back down into the transfer case here I don't know I can't really see down there can you guys see down there um I think would you just cooperate phone please there we go I think it's down there. It might be down there. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's right there. Just there. Um, but, yeah. So, right now, I'm actually currently in the process. The, this air conditioner is on the way. I'll do a video on that. But right now, I'm in the process of replacing this front brake line to this front wheel here. Under the fender here. And I was replacing I realized... This is a different size. This is a different size than what they sent me. This stupid ABS system here uses a larger size um, bolt that goes in there. And I now I'm, I have to go back to the store and buy an adapter for it because this stupid brake system is not the right size that I bought. Or the brake lines that I bought aren't the right size for this system. Go figure. So, ABS module doesn't even work anymore, so I don't even know why I'm worried about it, but... It's more money I'm not going to spend right now. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I will try to do a video on the air conditioner. My guess is I probably won't do that one by myself. Right now I'm doing this by myself, so, well, you guys are in the sun. Um, I, I, I really do want to do a video on it, but it just, it just depends on how frustrated I am and uh, whether or not I can keep it PG. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, I am hoping to get this thing back into working order and have four-wheel drive because this winter sounds like it might be pretty brutal. 
Uh, last winter, I went the entire winter without four-wheel drive, and I mean the entire winter. Uh, from day one, when I first tried it, I realized that the four-wheel drive on this was non-functional, like it was completely destroyed. The transfer case was engaging, but the front end wasn't, and I just couldn't get it to engage. So at the end of the winter, I finally had it redone. Never haven't never tested it yet, and it's already leaking again. So I said to myself this time, I'm like, screw it. I'm not gonna pay some other mechanic to do it again because I won't take. In order to replace the the switch, you got to drop the transfer case, and I'm not gonna drop the transfer case again. I just, you know, I've done it to other vehicles. I won't do it to this one because this one, the quarters on this vehicle are so small. I mean, this vehicle is like an entire foot narrower than most vehicles. So. It is what it is, but um, off of that rant, I'm going to talk a little bit about what to do if your brake line goes out when you're going down the road. Um, when you're going down the road um, and you feel you start pushing on the brakes and you feel like a, a, a sudden pop and the brake pedal just goes straight to the floor, the best thing you can do is don't push on the brakes anymore. Um, there's a good chance that your uh, if your ABS light is not on, which I find it hard to believe it's a, if it's a GM, but if it's not on, there's a good chance that you just blew a brake line. And the best thing you can do at that point is to not use the brakes, turn your hazards on, and try to get to a safe place off the road. And either call a tow truck, call a friend, call somebody to come pick you up, um, and get the parts and fix it because... You don't want to, the reason I say don't push on the brakes anymore is because you can burn up your uh, master cylinder or you can burn up your ABS module, and uh, ABS modules aren't cheap. So um, the best thing you can do is if you have a bad brake line and it just decides to want, you know, decides to burst while you're going down the road or while you're trying to stop, um, best thing you can do is try to find a way to get out of the situation that you're in, swerve off to the side. If it's an older vehicle, I wouldn't, I'd say put it, if you're going fast enough, put it in first, you know, pull the shifter all the way back or pull it all the way down to first, and the transmission will slow you down. Don't do this if you're doing somewhere on 55 and it goes out, let it coast. But if you're coming right up to a stoplight and you have no other option and you're going maybe 20-ish, step on the gas as hard as you can, not as hard as you can, don't go pedal to the metal, but push it down enough that you can hear the engine through the um, firewall and pull it in the first and when you feel that kick in the first let off the gas and the, and the transmission will slow you down um, or if you're going faster slowly and I mean slowly press on the e-brakes easy ease it in do not all the way to the floor because you will lock up your wheels and that is how people get hurt and get in an accident and I don't want to see any of you guys get in an accident because that would just absolutely break my heart so but people still do it. I don't know why. But So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you'd like to see more of this truck's repairs... <laughs> it keeps going. Um, if you guys would like to see more of this truck's repairs, um, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Um, comment down below if you guys have had this problem with your Blazer or any other vehicle from GM or Ford. I mean, I don't know what Fords do. I don't tend to associate myself with Ford. But uh, that's another rant for another day. Um, so, if you guys really did like the video hit the like button if you dislike the video hit the dislike button it lets me know what kind of content i need to put out um and if you guys would like to stay up to date with me you guys can hit the notification bell or subscribe to me and that would great mean a lot to me um help me out here so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one